Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amita Singh and you're watching Techie Lifestyle. So guys, in today's video, I am going to cover the Elastic Search Part 19 video. And in this video, I am going to tell you the nest state or object field update query. Like how can we update a nest state or object fields. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see, I already created a index in which I have uh, I have given the location as an object field. The updation query for nested or object is same. So I am taking is, uh, the location one is an object. So hope you are familiar with the nested or object query. What is nested or what is object? If you are not then uh, don't worry. I will give you a link over here on the top. And you can go ahead and uh, find the difference between what is nested and what is object fields in Elasticsearch. I'll give you the link in the description box or on the top. Now let's proceed with uh, the few example of and few query to update the nested fields. So here what I have, I have an employee ID. For a particular employee ID I have a location and the location is of two type like an employee uh, can have uh, the address as a permanent address or a correspondence address it depends so the uh, employee uh, can have uh, n number of locations or address we can say right so here i have created the in this index and i have i have added some data like this way the employee id 112 has location Love where the address type is permanent and he's the person is living here and the which the address type is correspondence and the person is this is the address of the correspondent uh, correspondence address so these two data for a particular id i have added so i'm just simply giving you an example it depends on your scenario and your requirement what is the nested or object type in yours i'm just going to show you don't take it as like you know a good example I know it this is not a good example to show you but uh, my motto is to show you how to update the nested and object query okay so bear with bear with my example I'm so sorry for that now I have two uh, I have two data right now I'll show you that I have added two data which is enough for me to show you okay let me show you the data get dog underscore search so by the way i'm working on 6.7 version of elastic search this is 6.7 so there is not much difference in 7 and 6 uh, the previous prior version to this uh, the 6 6 version and 7 version is almost same there as 6.7 if you don't know the difference between the version name what has been changed then I'll give you a link over in the top or in the description box you can go ahead and check out the how the things has been changed in versions of Elasticsearch and that there are drastic change in Elasticsearch version you can see you can check it out now let's come to the point and see we have two data over here two day two records i have total two records one record for employee id triple one other is for one one two and i have two uh you know records of location now i want to update some record like inside the location maybe i want to update uh the location name or something else okay so let's see or maybe i want to remove this location and i want to add a different location the requirement could be anything right so let's check first one by you haven't watched my script video scripting video i have taken one uh, description i have given one description of uh, you know script what is script what lang or source params tag i'll give you the link in the description box, uh, description box you can go ahead and watch here i'll be simply ex explaining you how i have written in this inside this script so inside this script it is looking very complicated but guys if you are familiar with any of the languages like C, C sharp, Java, whatever this is very simple. What I am doing I am I am I have just taken for loop inside the for loop I am C is it's a it's a nested type or object object type it's an array so array we uh, we tri uh, we uh, retrieve to retrieve something we have to traverse the array so like this way I'm uh, from zeroth position to the length position I'll be going I'll be checking the value whether it is if it is if it's matches 
on the basis of my requirement if if it matches then do this do this condition what i what i want like here i am matching the address type if the address type is like suppose permanent then remove the location record or something if the address uh, or address code or postal code now you are no more uh, you know giving some employees blah 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 like this right? i'm so much bad in taking example just try and understand your way see i'm matching some condition and i'm simply removing it so that's how i'm doing it over here for loop in the for loop if ctx this you have to write this is very it is you have to must write it you have to write it anyhow ctx dot underscore source underscore source means whatever record i have is inside the underscore source this is also an object right this is an object underscore source dot location dot whatever in the location i want to remove the ith position yani i have i want to remove the complete thing then let's just run simply run this query oh, it's got updated so what i'm matching here address type is equal to equal to parents dot tag dot address type parents dot tag dot address type means my ith positions location address type if it is equal to equal to matches my parents dot tag dot address type then i have to remove that location ith location very much simple clear okay now let's check this out whether it got Are uh, deleted or not? See, now we have only one record that is permanent location. So that's got deleted. Now you have removed the record. How how will you add the record? Add the record is also very simple, like this way. So it's nothing but what you are doing for add. You are just taking some boolean flag, whatever. You you actually you have to write like simple basic Java. Uh, java code or c c++ whatever and you have to implement this code in your scripting but in scripting we use like uh, dot add dot remove these kind of thing which you have to use so there are basic changes but the logic will be same so you can write the query in your way whatever way you want this is how i have written this query this is not like uh, we have to write this query like this way only no guys uh, your logic might be different from mine this is my logic so what i am doing here i have just taken simply maybe my logic would be like very complicated complex or uh, complexity is high but guys i am not that good in writing that code but yeah i am just simply giving the idea for loop and i am matching some condition if this condition matches go inside the for loop and do change the flag and what you have to do you have to assign my params dot tag means here the params dot tag is something which i want to add so assign this value in, to that location location ith location come out of the loop and then add that params dot tag dot add will be used to add the to insert the result add dot location dot add dot params dot tag if the flag is true okay if it is false then do this if the flag is true then simply do this are you getting me first i have assigned it true if it is true then directly go to this point if it is false i'm checking the condition then assign this got it very simple now so let's run this query and check that out updated now go and see add it i have removed this one but now i have added this so what i'm doing see now here location ith dot address type is equal to is equal to params dot value dot address type if it matches then i'm changing my flag and what i'm doing i'm assigning simply assigning at the ith position my value params dot tag but if the flag is false i am adding it means if it is present then i am uh, updating it kind of assigning it value if it is not present then i am adding inserting a new value just like that so this is this is my way to write the query you can use your logic to write the query there are n number of ways you can approach uh, uh, you know approach some result 
now the next thing suppose i want to change this location only the i want to change the state name i want to change the only the location code this query is to bulk change means bulk i'm uh, removing it or bulk i'm uh, writing it something now i want to change simply write no by mistake i have written the straight name or a uh, state code something else it should get change now what will i do i'll do same query same as it is just see location i location of i is dot address type you can use uh, instead of address type whatever your requirement is okay now flag false okay address type at ith position dot state name is equal to params dot value dot state name params dot value value dot state name i have to make this the state name like uh, alb suppose i want to make it like alb the state name here i want to make it like alb now if the flag is true then location dot state name dot add params dot value dot state name params dot params dot value dot state name here this tag is using for a, a conditional check the value is using we are using for addition or updation of my result now just run this it's got updated let's check this out what is my result now uh, yeah state name so let's conclude the today's session what we have done we have removed a bulk remove a bulk add and a single update that's what we covered in today's session hope you guys uh, i have made you clear if you have any queries you can post your question in the comment section i'll try my best to uh, give you answer in the comment section itself or i'll make a video on that if you have any on demand video you can post your question in the comment section i'll help you so thank you for watching my video guys thank you and if you haven't subscribed my channel please guys go ahead and subscribe my channel thank you